What's going on guys, Sinister here back with another video and we are doing our first horror gameplay, uh, you know, playthrough on the new PC. This is something I really wanted to do a lot once I got my new PC built. Uh, so we are finally getting into it. The first game we are playing is Blameless. It is an indie horror game that is free on the Steam store, which is the main reason I got it, because it's free. Uh, and I've kind of just uh, seen a little bit of gameplay here and there of it. Uh, and the graphics seem to be amazing, uh, especially for an indie horror game. Like, they're not, like, you know, top-notch, you know, <laughs> the best quality graphics in the world. But, like, for being an indie horror game, you know, those are just kind of notorious for being, like, meh, in my opinion. So, for an indie horror game, the graphics are amazing. Uh, it seems, from what I've read, to have, like, a very interesting plot. Uh, and there seems to be multiple endings or, like, a set up for a sequel so like that'll be cool i'm really into it for the story i hope that it has a really good story so uh we're gonna jump into it i did mess around a little bit with it oh cutscenes. i'm an architect freelance so i take job offers as they arise so when this guy called me i was relieved i could finally get a paying job he said he needed help with interior design for his house that he was building I always respected people who can do construction, so I naturally agreed to come and take a look. I already had a couple of ideas. It was already quite late, but he insisted on me coming over the same day. I tried to comply, because I didn't want to lose this offer. I drove there with my car. His house was all the way over in the suburban area, quite remote, but with other houses nearby, quiet place. The man met me at the front gate. It was a temporary fence, and the gate was made of rotting wooden planks. He started showing me around the yard. It seemed weird that there was a large garbage container blocking the way, so we had to go through the garage to get inside the house. He took me through the rooms, so I started looking around. At one point, I saw a stain, and at first glance it seemed like brick dust. But then I realized it was blood, spilled on the floor. I thought that maybe there was another worker who got injured, so... I turned to tell the man. That's when I saw his hand raised to hit me. He was holding a metal rod. Before I could defend myself, he hit me in the head. I must have passed out. I don't know how long I was out. <sighs> when I woke up. Okay, so you see there, it does have an interesting story to lead up to it. Uh, as I was trying to say before the cutscene, I started recording this before and the the way it was set up, uh, it cut off a lot of the video. It was uh, weird. Um, but we're going to get this another shot. So, Starting fresh, like I said, very good story plot so far. I like it. You know, setting it up, it doesn't seem like it's just going to be your typical fine eight notes scattered around <laughs> around the big map. Sorry. And you can see I was talking about the graphics. It's just, I think they're great. I, I mean, yeah, there's better out there, but for an indie horror game, I mean, that, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but... um. Uh, we this got blood stain does blood not look here. like a result of a banal injury. It seems fresh. The um the, the music reminds me of L.A. Noir though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> With like a creepier edge though, which is nice because L.A. Noir was a well done game. I actually hated the game when I first got it because I thought it was going to be like GTA, and it was not. The phone is smashed. No way it's gonna work anytime right. soon. What do we got around here? Is that a hammer? Can't pick up anything else. Oh, oh I can drop it. Alright. I guess I'm just gonna stack everything right here for now. There's nothing in there. Oh, what was that? Okay, so turn this. Turn it back. Probably means we have to stick something in there. But what? There's a saw here. Doubt we're gonna stick that in there, but I'll put it down here for the rest of the tools. Metal rod. What the? Oh. Oh, okay, so that goes in there. I should bend the rod, but it's too tough to do by hand. Uh, well, how about pliers? Where the pliers go? There's no point doing this at the moment. Okay, how about a hammer? I guess I can't flip the hammer around. Okay, um... Get 
this, but I don't think that I'll, no, okay. Might be able to get further through the attic. I guess I gotta get something to reach it, which is probably going to be that long rod there, so once I find whatever I need to bend it, I can get the hell out of here. Oh, sweet light. I don't know what that did, but. Oh! Aha, lead pipe. Lead pipe. Is the lead pipe gonna bend it? I guess it is. All right. All right. Let's see if this works. That now. Sweet. I don't know if that was the ladder squeaking or I heard like voices, but I heard voices. Um, so we're not gonna go up there right now. We're gonna go over here. I can't get further through here. Okay, I guess we're not gonna go over there. I think it was like F was for flashlight, but we don't have a flashlight, so I guess we gotta go up the attic. Oh joy. Oh, it's dark. Uh, what the hell's that? Shit, it's dark. Oh no shit. Is it thunder? What the hell was that? Okay, so it's not thunder. Body being dragged around? Oh no, I don't want to go down there. No, 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 not there we go. Oh, he's probably down there. Something. There's a wallet. Oh my god, no, that's not a good sign. <laughs> okay, we're at a checkpoint because it's saving. Oh my god. Okay, we're good. What was that? Lift that up. Um, I don't. What? Um, I don't know exactly what that did, but but okay. It's stuck underneath the beam. A screw of some sort. Pliers. Oh, I guess I need to fix this. The handle is not in place. What? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. No, it wasn't. Alright. Sweet. We got bolt cutters. Oh, I doubt this is going to work on that, but... No, okay. Well, I guess we're done in this room for now. I don't know what the hell that was for, though. I mean, we're not seeing any jump scares yet, so I guess this is more of, like... It kind of reminds me of, um, like, Escape the Car, but with a scarier vibe. Which is cool. I like that. And good graphics, so I'm down. What did I jump down from? Where was the, um, the notes? Or the wallet. There we go. Oh, I don't really want to jump those. A library card belonging to Helen Woodward. How did it get here? Alright, Helen Woodward. Um, put my pliers back. I already went through there. There's nothing in these things. No, okay, so we gotta go in here. So, is this something of use? What is this? No, it is not. It's holding with the wires. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I have a wire cutter. Oh, there it is. How the hell did it bounce all the way over there? Alright, whatever. One more? Is that it? I think so. Sweet. Okay, it's dark. I don't like that. And we're not gonna go in there yet. We haven't been in this room. This room probably holds some important stuff. Of course it doesn't. Well, oh boy. Can I bring, like, can I use weapons? Like, is there gonna be combat? Oh no. I don't want to turn around. Good. 
so far. Oh, oh shit, shit. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go in there. Oh, I can't hold it. Fuck. Oh, no. Why? Oh, I'm so scared. No, why is it getting quiet? No, don't get quiet. <gasps> Fuck. Oh, no. A light scared me. <laughs> Fuck, this is... Uh. Is there anything here? What is this? Can't open that. Oh. The fuse box opener is locked in the old house in my duffel bag. Alright, so I need to go find a duffel bag in an old house. Are we just are we in a house? Like what are, what are we doing right now? I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Can we get through here? Yes, we can. And that's outside, so we're not gonna go out. Outside, dark corridor. Well, this is a horror game, so dark corridor it is. I don't like the look of that dark corridor. Let's see if the light switch is working. Is the light switch? Where? Is it that? Haha, <laughs> now it's gonna go off as soon as I get in there and something's gonna pop out at the end of the hallway. Guaranteed. I'm gonna run. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. What the fuck? Um. What the hell? Hello? Uh, hello? Oh, hi. You're dead. Nice. Shit, she's. She's dead. Can I? Yeah. Okay. Let me just take your keys. In a note. It's the address of this house. Was she invited here too? It's dust similar. She was being dragged over here through the okay, house. Okay, so she was the one that was being dragged. That's. I don't know if that's good to know, but um, I know it. <laughs> like what? The I feel like there has to be something in every room. Like, why would you just put random point? Like, who put? What are these blinds? Like, why are there blinds like on the ground? Like, I, I mean, that's, I don't know. I guess it makes it more realistic. More, I don't know. What was that? Is that a container? Oh, it's a flashlight. Does it work? Oh, I need to find batteries. No, it doesn't. Oh, sweet. Get behind here. All right, I'll have a flashlight now. I think I could toggle it with that. Sweet. I hope I'm gonna turn it off. I don't know if there's like battery usage. Open these. No. Alright, well, I guess we gotta go outside now because this is the rest of this place. Joy! It's already. That wasn't fully open before. Oh no. Finally, Ooh. out of the house. Oh, yeah, no, don't get scared. <laughs> it's not near. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna sprint. I don't like that. I don't like that. There's nobody over here. Why are the lights on in there, though? Oh, seriously? Really? They're gonna make the game this realistic? What the hell? Alright, there we go. Is there anybody in here? No. Okay. What is this? Nothing. Notes. So I've received like 13 days. July 2000. Uh, so it's just like a notice for ladders. I, I don't know what that has to do with this. There's a ladder right there. But this like, must be one of the three suspension ladders mentioned in the letter. Oh. Okay, so I guess there's two other ones, so I gotta find those. Like, is that a part of this? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Is it. Can I. No? Okay. Touche, touche. Um, there's a ladder here. I bet you I have to find one of them and get up there and connect it to that. Guarantee you. Um, it's back here. Darkness, hello darkness, my old friend. I don't want to get copyright for that. Oh joy, dark houses. More dark rooms. 
in here. Why is it just like torn apart? Like who lives in this? Why are there no lights? Like who does not own lights? Just a cage? Yeah. Why is everything uh -huh. always locked? I have keys. Sweet. A duffel bag. Ah, duffel bag. Anything useful here? What's this? How's that? Ah, uh, I believe this thing can oh. open fuse boxes. Okay. Well, um, is there anything else in here? I f feel like. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, there's been no jump scares. This is weird. I guess this more is like a just a creepy story, more or less. What's in here? Um, nothing? Okay. Too shy, too shy. I feel like... Why can't I pick those things up? Why are they there if I can't pick them up? I don't like that. We're done with this house. Yeah, we've already checked all that. Uh, okay, we can't go in that house. What about this one? Locked. Locked. Ah, oh, but I have keys. Sweet. Oh! Oh, you know what? We gotta go into that fuse box. I forgot about that. I really just don't want to go into a new building. I want a safe place. This is my safe place. Was it up here? I think it was up here. Yeah. Come on. Sweet. Alright. Uh. Which again, first one. Last. So you switch the smallest one and the rest of them. The orange one last. Make sure you first hear a click. Honey. If the circuit trips again, first turn on the smallest, RCD then the rest of them, the orange one last. Honey, wait, what? All right, we're gonna figure this out. These are already on. These are all. These are already on. Oh, well, they're already on. Okay, never mind. I don't know what that was for. I did get an achievement for reading that out, though, so I guess maybe that. Where? Okay, yeah, here. And now we go into the house or the garage. Yay, joys. This is the way out. Wait, it is? Can I open this? What? Oh. Oh, fuck! Jesus. This place is scary. False jump scares. Alright, nice. Very nice. I love it. A flashlight. Oh, hey, look, a ladder. I was right. I don't want a flashlight and a ladder. Let's go. I hope I searched everything. I feel like it did. Yeah, you can't open these doors. Alright. I haven't checked back here, though. There's nothing back here. Alright, well. Time to clean. Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying this game so far, guys. Uh, it's interesting. Like I said, I've already been a fan of the graphics. And, um, let's gonna flash that off. Um, I guess I jumped down? Yeah, good game. Uh, not like the scariest thing in the world, but uh, it's definitely got creepy vibes to it. And but I mean, I'm enjoying. The game. What the fuck? Jesus. What the fuck? Can I hit him? No, no. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Chill, 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 chill. Oh my. I'm dead. That's it. Oh, oh, I started back. Okay. Wow. Um. All right. Well. I guess now anticipate for him to to come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there you are. Jesus. Now we're gonna start running. Um, Get away from me. Um. 
guess I'm straight. I hear him behind me. I don't like this. Oh my god. Can I jump fences? Can I jump? Can I jump? Cop, cop, sweep. This is that good? Did I win? Stay where you are. How You're did I get? Me? What the hell did I do? But I didn't do anything. Get on your knees now. Did I like do you something wrong? Under arrest. Is this like a false landing, or like did I fuck up somewhere along? Oop. This is what happened. He was chasing me with a rod in his hand. He must have hidden when he saw the police cars pulling up to the gate. Mr. Malcolm, we searched the yard thoroughly and didn't find any evidence suggesting there was another man. No, 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 no. He was there. He was the owner who called me. The former owners sold the house due to personal financial problems two weeks ago. They moved to a different town on the other side of the country. The private company who owns it now proved all their employees were off-site, having a team building activity that night. How could you not find evidence of him? I'm telling you, he was there. I heard you. Our officers got a phone call from one of the neighbors reporting lights coming on in the house and suspicious person moving on site. They gave us your description. They never saw another man. How could that be? This doesn't make any sense. Let's I... cut the crap. What? It does make pretty clear sense to me. I have to say that I honestly don't believe any part of your bullshit story that you're giving me here. Everything suggests that you murdered that woman. No, I... You found the victim's blood on your clothes and your hands. You had the victim's wallet in your pocket. Wait. And the officers caught you fleeing the crime scene. You. No one else. Guess whose fingerprints match the ones we found on the victim's body, huh? I don't know why you murdered that woman, but I'll guarantee you're never getting out. You're going down, Mr. Blameless. Okay, so my theory is if you've ever seen the movie Identity or like the movie Split that's coming out soon, I'm thinking this guy has like a multiple personality or something along those lines or like um, it's the Leonardo DiCaprio movie Shutter Island and maybe he committed these crimes and didn't know it, he doesn't remember, uh, or he's schizophrenic and sees someone else. Uh, I don't know, but... I hope this leads to a sequel, because, like, I, the story was interesting. It really, I liked it. And it, there wasn't, like, s super, like, a lot of corny jump scares. Uh, it was actually a fairly well-put game, and I, I've always loved escape games, too. So maybe that's why I'm a little biased toward it, towards it. But, um, I don't know, for an indie horror that's game... That's how it all began for me. Was there more? And it was far from over. Oh. Maybe there's more. No. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, for an indie horror game, I thought it was great. Um... Good, good graphics, good good plot. I hope there's a sequel coming, because I don't really... If it ends just like that... Or maybe there's multiple endings and I'm just not seeing. I'm going to have to look it up and see. Or if you guys know, you can let me know in the comments. But that's going to wrap up the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe for more horror gameplays like this. Social media links are in the description. And until next time, thank you for the support, and I'll see you again soon.